What is up guys? More Medic One here. And I've got a little two cycle engine on the bench. And as you can tell, we are working on the starter. And two, well, really just one. One of the holes that the starter mounts. The threads are stripped out in this hole. And this one is okay. The two bottom ones are okay, but this hole is stripped out. Most shops don't know this little hack that I'm about to show you. Uh, they probably do, but they're smart enough not to tell everybody because they can make some serious money uh, off of helicoiling these uh, stripped out threads. However, I'm going to put a, uh, a picture right here of what I'm fixing to tell you. Now, let me turn the camera back around and let me show you what's going on. As you can tell, there are some of the threads <laughs> that came out of that hole. Here is the factory screw. And right next to it is also a factory screw from Echo. However, they're the same size, five millimeter. The screw on the right is a self-tapping screw for metal. And they use these on some of the newer uh, echo equipment what they're doing they're getting uh, their ducks in a row uh, steel uses this thread pitch here on the right as well it's cutting down on production cost because now they don't have to sit there and uh, you know tap out holes so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take this screw and I'm gonna make my own threads in this stripped out hole I love being able to fix something easily this way. The other alternate method would be to drill that out, tap it to the helicoil size, and then install a helicoil, and then you could reuse your original screw. There ain't a single thing wrong with the way I just did that. And hey, if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.